And now we're finding the Egg Dragoon in the Wii version, which... I kind of find that funny how, like, the, like... In the cutscene, he calls it the Ultra Hyper Prototype, prototype 1, but when you go into gameplay, it's the Egg Dragoon, so I wonder what that's about. Like, that's kind of weird. And then, it's just, every time this comes back, it's called the Egg Dragoon, so... Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> like, but either way, though, I really love this battle. It's uh, not as good as in this version. It's not as uh, climactic or cinematic or anything like that. And it doesn't help that there's no dialogue outside of the you little, you little line. Um, so it's not as impactful as the HD one, but it's a decent fight. He had to be quick to um, get his weak point because he does like try and go away really quickly. And after you get to a certain point in this health bar, he sends a missile and uh, you need to go down to a, go down and fall down to a rock. And um, yeah, it's a pretty easy fight, especially here because it's very easy to just get him into a lock if you're fast enough. So that can be kind of a issue with the boss design here. Um, but... I really love the um, idea of this fight and the the general setting. Like the music's amazing. I love this. I love the Egg Dragoon boss theme, and um, I'll have a lot more to say about this in the in the HD one. But I just love how serious Eggman is here. Um, like he's just had enough of this. Um, it's uh, it's it's not portrayed as well here again because there's no dialogue or anything, but. Still, the general idea of this fight is the same, but, you know, I don't think, I don't think it's possible to just, like, miss the, miss the rock. Okay, I'll, I'll let him attack just to show, show off, like, what he does. Like, you can either shoot out bullets or those, fr like, giant freeze blasts, um, or you can, like, well, I, he's gonna... He, I think he does it off like on the third phase here, so I do want to, I do want him to show it off. Um, here we go. Yeah. Um, he also does this with his little like missile launcher sword thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, where he like tries to slice you and just jump out of the way. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't say the Wii version is perfectly serviceable. I wouldn't say it's an amazing boss, but it's uh, decent enough, I guess. All right, one more hit. Let, let, I'll, I'll, I'll let him do something just for the hell of it. Just give him a like some chance. I don't want to just <laughs> whirl on him endlessly and just have that be it. It is fairly easy though, so you know. And he's done. Hurrah! Very easy S rank. Kind of a shame there's no, like, boss defeat line here though, because, uh. Yeah, see, Egg, Egg Dragoon's the only one that doesn't have that, I think. Alright, and now we find the HD version of this boss, and um, I would say it is a, a decent a bit a decent bit harder. It's not not by too much because again this is a fairly easy boss, all things considered. But I like this boss more for the um, j just the idea of it, like the presentation, the music, and the story reasons for for it. Um, like at this point, Eggman's just completely done with Sonic. He just wants to, like, basically kill him, <laughs> and that, like, comes true with the, um, with the dialogue, and it's, I don't want to, like, well on this guy completely, because, because it does make you miss a lot of the, of the dialogue here, so I do want to take a bit of time here, especially, especially since, like, the rank doesn't really matter that much, but there's also one, one other thing that does make this a bit more difficult than the Wii one, even if it's really hard to get to this point, um, is, uh, there is actually a time limit. Um, what happens is, um, the, the missile strikes, 
um, aren't actually based on your damage. It's based on your time. So as you take too long, Egg Eggman will send out a missile on the platform. So you fall down and get sent to a lower platform. And then like the platforms get start getting smaller and smaller until they just aren't there anymore at all and you just fall and die. Um, I don't know why he's not doing it though. Like, I feel like he should send it out at this point. Unless I have to start the first reaction command for it to happen, which I don't remember that being the case. Yeah, I'll just do a little like taps on him. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is what happens. And he actually start uh, tries fighting back, unlike the Wii version here. Um, he, it's a very terrible shot, but it, it's the fault that counts. And I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Again, I, I'm pretty sure in the Wii, like just like the Wii version, you do you. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't matter like where you land. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. And this was what happens when you get to the light, the part in the bar that's like, you know. Yeah, this is what I mean about this version being a lot more cinematic, because in the Wii version, you just kind of do the same thing throughout the whole fight, and then it doesn't really change much. Uh, whereas in this, you get the quick time events, and you get <laughs> cool stuff like this. <laughs> Which is, yeah, it's very 2008 and I get that, but man, I I can't help but love that stuff. And yeah, he has a lot of the, sim the same kind of moves as uh, the Wii version, like this freeze grenade or whatever you want to call it. But it is a bit more challenging to avoid because you don't just run around the map and just avoid it. You do need to... Like, he sends it in the center, I you need to, like, avoid the, uh, the freeze blast or whatever. He sends out enemies which are not really anything special, but they do kind of get in the way a bit. And he's a lot faster with his, like, little Gatling gun shot here. And it's... and the, um... Like, was it... The blasts have, like, more of a lingering effect. I don't even think they had that in the Wii version, so there is that. And then there's this, which you need to just make sure you're not in the way of it. It's a cool effect, though. Alright. There is one line I want him to say, so I... Okay, here we... Oh, wait. Okay, not, not, not quite yet. Alright. Are you gonna do your thing? Usually I would be done with this boss by now, but yeah, yeah, that line, that that line alone is just like, yeah, you know he's not kidding around this time. I love that. <laughs> okay, don't try and be fancy here. Just drop. Wait, does it? Does a double jump? Okay, maybe not. I thought the double jump, like, re not regenerated, but like, you could do it after falling for a long time. I guess not. Alright. Yeah, I think Chip will say something, where it's like, let's not fall again, because otherwise, because there's no, we I can't see any platform below us. Like, that's when you know you need to finish the boss now, because... Um, you're, otherwise you're just gonna die. Um, I think it might be the one after this, so I guess I'll just wait, wait this out, because this is not really shown not much, because, again, this is a fairly easy boss, and people kind of just blaze through it, because it's not that hard to, it, it's not that hard to do that, so, yeah. But I do, I do kind of want to show this off, so I, oh, okay, give one more, okay. One more hit and he's done, so I'll just leave him, and then, like, yeah. Alright. Is, is he gonna do it? No? Come on. I, I want to show this off. Alright, come on. 
Yeah, let's fight the enemies, because why not? Yeah, I have no real reason to do this, but I just... There we go. J just for the sake of it, like, I just want to want to show this off, because it's not very well do documented. Rah! Yeah, he, 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 da. When he shoots the missiles at you in the Generations version of the fight, that's a lot more difficult to dodge. Okay, I don't know if that means there's another platform, but I'll, I'll just end it here because, yeah, I, I don't want to keep doing this forever. <laughs> but yeah, you see what I mean. There, there is a time limit, even if it is really difficult to. Uh, actually die from that, but still. And just go through this again. And I like how the button prompts here are like actually um, relevant to the, the uh, things you're doing. It's like, obviously X is for the jump and all that. And uh, well, this, this is a bit more arbitrary, but hey. Some of them make, make sense. The circle for the grab, like, that makes sense. And he's done. And that's all she wrote. And fair enough, I, I, did, I was wasting a lot of time, so that makes sense. But again, it, do it doesn't matter. We aren't here for full S rank run, so whatever. Yeah, it's a really easy S rank to get. Uh, so if I really wanted to, I could just redo this boss and just get it. But there's no real point, so whatever. Unfortunately, they kind of go a bit crazy reusing the Egg Dragoon. Um, the, the Generations fight is pretty good. Less said about forces, the better. What? It's dark and I'm... They, they probably reused it again in some other thing that I'm not thinking of right now. And there's Dark Gaia. And uh, Dreamcast. <laughs> I love the random Dreamcast. And if you remember, the Werehog is, um, has, like, Dark Gaia energy within him. Like, that's why he is what he is. Um, because the whole, like, stretchy arms thing is just a thing that um, Dark Gaia's, uh, like, minions can do with, like... Because uh, the um, regular enemies, they, like... I don't know, but, like, they they they, they have uh, stretchy arms, and that's why the Werehog has that, too. Um, and I kind of like how um, Dark Gaia couldn't be... At his full power without getting the work, like his energy back from the werehog. So, yeah, I like that. Comes full circle. And uh, we get to finally see what Chip is capable of. Well, minus opening doors in the. Uh, the pedestals in the temples. The temple. Awaken and gather here to me. And we have some transformers going on.
Here we go. Okay, and now we have the Wii version of the Dark Eye fight. And uh, this is really cool. Um, the uh, second and third phases can be argued, but this is th this first phase here is significantly more fun in, in this version because um, you're basically playing Punch Out. I'll, I'll just explain this um, before I actually start here, but basically you just just left and right and do, and avoid uh, Dark Guy's swipes. Um, sometimes he'll grab at you, and that's when you want to like hold back on the control stick um, to avoid that. Um, you have your left and right punches, and you and you can also do a double punch, which does a crap ton of damage. Um, you can, like, counter him, uh, Dark Guy as well, like, when he's, like, trying to swipe. If you attack at a certain time, uh, basically just, like, punch out, really, you get, like, a counter bonus, and it does a lot more damage than a regular attack. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. So, let's, let's do this. X, Y, and then, okay. Yeah, like that. Also, by the way, that timer there is uh, based on every part of this boss, so... Um, if you want to get a, um... Dude. Right. Yeah, if you want to get a uh, S rank here, you're gonna need to, uh... Dude. You're gonna need to get a good time for, like, pretty much this whole, like, everything. Yeah, it's not particularly that difficult, but I just love that they did this. Dude. I wanna get the double punch! Yeah! Let's go. No, that's fine. Now, I guess this will be, like, one of the only times I'll show the Wii Kart scene, because, um, I am gonna be just doing the first and second phases in one go. I won't be switching between the versions until we get to the next part, because otherwise this will be really disjointed. Because, uh, an interesting difference is that in the Wii version here, you do that dark, the, the Gaia Colossus part, and then you do all the free, like, Sonic sections, whereas in the in the HD one, it does the Gaia Gol Colossus section, then a Sonic one, then a Gaia section, then a Sonic one, etc, etc. So, it's a little bit different in that regard, so I feel like it just makes sense to just do this first part in one go, and then go to the, the HD one and whatnot. Um, funny thing here, though, is uh, the, Wii, the Wii version actually has the same level design as... Uh, I, I'm not used to the classic controllers button layout, so I got a bit, a little bit flustered, <laughs> a, a little bit flustered there. Um, but yeah, the level design is actually the the exact same as the HD one here, and this like the only time in this game where that has bit like it's been like that. Um, I mean, there there are some differences, like there aren't as many obstacles in this version. Um, and one and there's no time limit, so you can take as long as you as you need to. So it's not as difficult. But the general design is the same, and I kind of find that fascinating. Makes you wonder if they just w like ran out of time and just copied the level layout of the HD one because they just <laughs> need to sort of finish the game. But who knows? I do like this though. So I l I like that one of the uh, parts of the final boss is a, is a platforming section. I think that's kind of, kind of neat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I definitely say, I'm not sure where I'd rank, uh, Dark Guy overall in terms of final bosses, but I, I definitely say he's up there. The first section in the Wii, in the HD one is a little bit underwhelming, but of like other than that, I do really like this boss. I think it's very climactic. Has I like the different uh, phases and whatnot there are, um, especially in the HD version, it makes it very tense, and um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. 
Okay, and now we're doing the HD version of the first and second phases of the Dark Eye fight. And while I don't dislike this necessarily, this is admittedly nowhere near as in intense or exciting as the uh, Wii versions, like Punch Out. Like Punch Out is just such a fun game, and like just by default. So you're going up against that, and uh, you have uh, just slowly boosting towards Dark Guy, and then sometimes you have to dodge some like flaming rocks, and sometimes sometimes he'll send a laser at that you need to. Uh, like block through and uh, I mean this uh it's not the worst thing ever but it's definitely not terribly exciting uh, it doesn't help that my uh oh that oh that's a point my my uh L1 button is completely bought so that might be an issue <laughs> okay hopefully it will be fine and then quick time event, because uh, this is a 2000, 2008 game after all. You gotta have those quick time events. I love how it's just being circle. Like this wouldn't be so bad if the quick time event was replaced by a punch out section, but yeah. Like this would definitely be one of the best. Uh, final bosses, if not the best, if it, if this was, like, mixed together with stuff in the Wii version. Um, like, cut out the boosting towards Dark Gaia crap, just make it the punch-out bit, um, but also have, in this, like, how this version does where it, like, goes from the Gaia Colossus to Sonic three times. Do that, but it's, a uh, punch-out three times instead of the boosting thing, and, uh, and then for the final part, well, actually, I'll, I'll get to that later. But I do have an idea of what they could do with that. It's a very simple solution, but yeah. And yeah, th this is they're a lot more aggressive in the HD version. Like, there's a bunch of things coming, trying to come and kill you. It's very <laughs> a lot more dangerous, and um, there's a time limit, so you can't like just hang around forever. You need to be quick. And yeah, it's, a, it's pretty easy here, but like it gets harder in the later version, or later, like, sections. And Sonic just wails on the eyes in this version. <laughs> like, good lord. I really hope my messed up controller doesn't, like, end up screwing me over here. Because that would suck. Yeah, I just- I can't afford to take unnecessary damage here. Like, if there was more going on here, this wouldn't be as bad, but... Because- because it's so simplistic, um, that kinda... makes it not that great. There's no really- there's really not much for me to say about this, to be honest. It- it-, it like, it is what it is. Like, again, it's definitely not the worst ever, but it's just really unremarkable. Okay, that worked. Somehow the con somehow my controller didn't, like, mess up there. And then do this. No, you're gonna reach him, so, yeah. Bonk. Are you just gonna be XXX? Okay. Mixing it up a bit. And one more. I do think it makes more sense for the, for the for it to be split into like sections like this instead of just doing 
so the Sonic part free like all in one go. I think I think this method does make more sense. So I will say that much. Oh crap! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't remember what the barn was. For the, I, I don't know if it's random, but oh god, yeah, it can get pretty tight. And final guy, uh, final uh, guy colossus section. And uh, just the same as the other ones. So not much else to really uh, add, add to this. Alright. I guess there's this one thing to say. Damn it. Uh, well, there's that. He does get more aggressive, I will say that much, but still. Um, yeah, one thing I will say, I do like how this is like a... A team-up battle with uh, Chip and Sonic. And like, we're fighting like down in the core of the Earth, like... That's a cool concept, and I... I love the idea of, of, of this fight. It's just this... This section could have been handled a lot better. No, again, you're going up against Punch-Out. Like, you're not gonna win. <laughs> I mean, this... This, uh... This phase has been a... A bit more exciting because he's been a lot more aggressive. So I'll give him give him that, but it's still you st you still still got nothing on on the Wii version uh, Wii version's boss. I'm afraid. All right, one more maybe. Oh, okay. I don't know what happens if you f if you fail the QTE. So just. Don't. <laughs> Alright. Now this section can can be pretty tough. You have to be really quick here and uh Yeah. Crap. Damn it, I messed up. It's bad. And I like, in this version, you can run on the wall here. So that can shave off a, shave off a bit of time. Oh. Go! Crap. Okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Got him. That could have been bad. Boom. And that's first and second phase is done. Even, well, it, it's weird because in this version they kind of meld the first and second phases together, so it's technically just one phase, or like all, you know. So technically it's just phase one, but the Wii version structures it as two separate phases. So yeah, it's kind of weird like that. But we, we haven't gone Super Sonic yet, so we still have one more part of this fight to go. Yeah, these cutscenes kind of speak th for themselves. I don't really need to add much to this. Uh, 
I'm loading screen. And get ready for some. <laughs> oh man. Oh, dude. This cutscene. Oh, man. The fact that they did this, like, this is so creepy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember being so freaked out by that, like all that. Just, they're, li they're lucky the, the blood was green because the age rating would have gone up like significantly if it, if it, if it wasn't. But yeah, supersonic. I, it, this is a pretty clever way of doing it, like, you had the chaos symbols in the temples, so how are you going to get supersonic? Make Chip do a, do a, um, uh, do a Transformers thing, so the emeralds are all here, so you can just do it like that. I think that's pretty clever.